ordering an emergency passage to allow some vessels to navigate around the wreckage. Two more channels could soon follow. Our team coverage continues now with Christina Mendez showing us where the salvage efforts stand tonight. Christina. Denise, the death effort will go toward lifting a 350 ton piece of that key bridge. Officials do say while rain will not impact their efforts, they do say that heavy winds and lightning would. On Monday, tugboat Crystal Coast was the first vessel to pass through a temporary channel since the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. The barge is heading to Dover Air Force Base to supply the Department of Defense with jet fuel. Today was an important milestone in the process of beginning to pull the wreckage out, beginning to open up channels. The emergency channel runs near Sellers Point underneath the northern section of the bridge that still stands for commercially essential vessels. Marked with lighted aids, the passage is 264 feet wide with a vertical clearance of 95 feet and 11 feet of water at the lowest tide. These are stepping stones towards finishing a marathon. Crews are now working toward opening two more channels for deeper draft vessels, but in an already complexly woven case, Governor Westmore says untangling the mangled mess of debris remains a dangerous task. We're talking about a situation where a portion of the bridge beneath the water has been described by, uni by unified command as chaotic wreckage. Every time someone goes in the water, they are taking a risk. Every time we move a piece of the structure, the situation could become even more dangerous. We have to move fast, but we cannot be careless. And each piece of the salvage from the wreck site will be taken over to Trade Point Atlantic. It will be inspected and then eventually will go to a separate disposal site. For perspective, Denise, this weekend we were told by officials that a 200 ton piece of that bridge was removed and it took about 10 hours. I'm reporting live tonight at 11. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ. All right, thank you very much, Christina. Well, the Port of Baltimore.